This is a portrait of a man sitting and eating. I'm using watercolor pencils. I've been working with watercolor pencils lately and I really enjoy the process. I generally start with a light sketch with a focus on establishing the face and the hands because I find those the most difficult. Um, I like painting people. So here I'm using some yellow to, to put in the background a little bit. I, t I tend to keep the background pretty abstract, but uh, in this case the man is sitting, so I want to give at least some reference to what he's sitting on. So if you aren't familiar with watercolor pencils, they're a really cool medium. I've just started experimenting with them. But basically, um, I, I was working with colored pencils for a little bit because I liked uh, how fast they are. I could sit in a coffee shop and kind of sketch and a little notebook. But I, I, I'm drawn to painting too, and I've always wanted to develop my painting. Um, and then I discovered watercolor pencils, and essentially you just lay down the pencil. Uh, but then when you use a, a, a watered brush, it... Uh, create some really beautiful watercolor color style results and it's really good for blending colors and kind of um, which is something that has been one of my weaker um, weaker skills so um, I've really enjoyed experimenting with this medium So this is a study of Dennis Hopper. Uh, he was an actor who passed a while ago. He was kind of a counterculture figure, uh, became famous with Easy Rider, which he directed and co-starred in. Um, and then he did a couple other real kind of uh, revolutionary hippie type movies and roles. Also, I just want to say this music is a um, performance by the uh, Marine Corps Orchestra Band, uh, so I just want to say Semper Fi. So I'm sitting by my window. You can see the sunlight movement creates kind of this uh, blowout glare, which is kind of a nice effect, but I'm not going to pretend that it was intentional. All right, so I, I picked up this uh, watercolor brush um, that's really fun. It's portable. You just kind of fill it with water um, and squeeze it to control the flow. And uh, it really lets you like blend and define and kind of bring out all the colors, all the little layers of, you know, some, you know, pink and yellow and brown and blue that I put in the face. It all kind of blends together. and. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's really fun. It's almost like breathing a second life into the sketch. I made another video a few years ago. It was actually when I was deployed. My third deployment with the military, I was deployed overseas and I made this video contemplating filmmaking and uh, artistic creation and it kind of blended Star Wars and filmmaking and kind of uh, beatnik stream of consciousness style prose and poetry uh, and anyway there were some excerpts with Dennis Hopper who from his performance in Apocalypse Now and uh, there, I, I used some footage from a film called 
Heart of Darkness, which is a documentary about uh, Francis Ford Coppola, uh, who is the director of Apocalypse Now, and his uh, wild experience making the movie. And there's a really some really classic scenes with Dennis Hopper in it um, that I used in this video I made. Um, where Dennis Hopper seems pretty out there, <laughs> uh, in the interview at least. Um, but anyway, I, I'm going to repost that video because there was a series of videos I made during that deployment where I didn't shoot too much footage of my own because I was uh, deployed and in the military and for security reasons I couldn't just shoot footage of where I was at and what I was doing. Uh, so part of my creative process at that time was to take footage and kind of chop it up and rearrange it and express myself uh, that way. So um, while I was working on this sketch of Dennis Hopper, this is a uh, taken from an Im image of him much later. Uh, I believe this was around the 80s uh, when he was still acting. He still did some bizarre work during that time. I think Blue Velvet is a, a classic role from that period. Um, but anyway, this is a sketch of Dennis Hopper. Um, uh, but I'm going to link to that other video because uh, he was in my work all those years ago. Um, so I thought you might find that interesting. And I'll, I'll link it somehow to this video. Maybe at the end there'll be a link to it or something. So study of a man sitting. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the process, and uh, I'll definitely try and do some more of these. It's really fun. Thanks for watching.